All right. So yeah, back to the question, Georg, that you just asked a moment ago. Is it is it an idiomatic phrase with this um, being angry very badly? I mean, what was it? Ju uh, a and being in love very badly. Is that um, is that idiomatic? What does it mean? One thing that comes to mind is in several languages, when you want to in intensify something, you use the word for painful, like uh, in German, for example. Sehr. Um, this is sehr gut, uh, very good. The, the sehr is actually from an old word for, for schmerz, for pain. And in at least one Chinese dialect, you do that too. In Hokkien, you say siu. Siu means very, very strong, but it actually comes from the, um, comes from the word for wound. Um, so that's, those are two interesting parallels that come to mind. Mm -hmm. You can just say ferociously, like to reinforce in Chinese. Um, hang on, let me turn Discord off. Otherwise, it's going to make a ton of noise. Um, okay, here we go. So I, I think that that could that could be something here actually, cross linguistic linguistically. Yeah, it's sometimes quite interesting how very different languages come up with very similar ideas. Yeah. You just. The thing though is it's in no other text I could find. Did search up and down the the thesaurus afterwards, Ramses anyways, Ramses did only have one more example and it's from our text. Uh, looked in the thesaurus, couldn't find anything else. Um, so maybe it's just this author or it's just this annoying fact that for however many texts we have, it's really only a tiny fraction of what people people did write down. So I don't know one leaf out of all library or something. It's, it's kind of frustrating when you think about it. Somebody asked on the Sumerian or maybe it was Akkadian server the other day, how many texts do we actually have? Um, and it's kind of, kind of hard to quantify because a short text and the Odyssey could count for the same thing, right? So uh, one way how to measure that would be by words and Schenkel, um, the, the, I think German Egyptologist um, came up with an estimate about 20 years ago of 5 million words of Egyptian texts published, published. He was going by what, what's published so far. Well, that's not nothing, but that's if you convert that into books, that essentially would be maybe like half a bookcase, maybe not much more. So that it's a lot, but it's not that much when you think about how much must have been written. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Even if you understand yeah. the factor of two or three, but still. It's not that much. It's always interesting when trying to find a phrase in a dictionary to figure out what it means. And then, you know, I was, I was translating a medical text and it's, you know, about putting the hands on somebody and then it says, you know, to take their pulse. And I was just looking at the exact word and then it said, you know, to put the hands on somebody. And then it also says to take the pulse. And that's not really defining the word because that's taking it from the context. It's probably referring only to the thing that I'm translating. You know, like when you look up something on Ramsey's and it, or you know, the dictionary, and it's only from Horace and Seth. You know, it's right. the attestation of it doesn't really. It's kind of a circular way of defining it, or backwards mm -hmm. way. You know. No, very true. Very true. I mean, it's frustrating. We had we had one of those the other day as well. Um, can't remember now what it was, but it was like a word that again was only in this one text with that determinative. And then you go like, okay, all right, well, I guess I know what this means, but <laughs> you're still guessing. <laughs> oh, well, but at least we have all this stuff. I mean, so many other languages we have absolutely nothing from. They must have had poems and, and, and hymns and epics and whatnot, and we just have no idea, which is, well, it is what it is. <laughs> With that being said, before waxing too philosophical, um, where did we leave it the last time? Uh, we are starting with the hieratic uh, at the beginning of line eight, and then we'll pick up translating after the word male on line nine. That was perfect. Okay, great. So line eight. Um... Hi. Hey, Mustafa. Hi. Ah, Mustafa joined. Hi, how's it going? Good evening. Perfect timing. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Oh, and I'm not sharing my screen, so I'm looking at everything here and going like, oh, yeah, this makes sense. And then, uh, hang on. <laughs> nice try. Um, oh, 
All right. So beginning of line eight. So somewhere around here. Yep, exact beginning. Oh, the exact, so we got this far. Um, we translated it. We just need to do the hieratic up till male. Got it. Well, let's see if there's anything special here. Um, D, we know by now. Honestly, I don't know why we have that scratched out. Unfortunately, Ralph isn't on today. Um, but the story here is. Then again, I mean, what is it? Uh, Gardner has a question mark. Hmm. Okay. And then a theory that it was a correction, that it was a, a feminine pronoun that was scratched out and then altered to a B1. Okay, well, that would make some sense, I guess. Actually, you don't know how you spell the feminine version of, so it's MD, right? Together with, um, but together with you is I guess what Gardner is thinking. So how do you write that in the second singular? Um, I think there's an um, hmm? the the uh, um, the J sesh uh, set one the glyphs that come with the Z J sesh uh, just has a um, B one mm -hmm. and, and then it's a uh, it's uh, D T right. for her. I think it makes sense, right? I mean, it should be the suffix pronoun, sure, which by that point in time is silent. So maybe you just write a B1, B1 woman. That would make some sense. Okay, let's accept that. Interesting Sherry here with the stroke going all the way through the middle. Normally he does that differently. He just writes, oh no, here he does it as well. Look at that, making me a liar, just right down here. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he does this like an osh where he writes the box and then something small in between and then closes it. Um, but looks like at least in some cases, he, uh, he goes all across all, right. all across the middle. Okay. Is that the same word? Yeah. It's the same word, right? It's Sherry in both cases, like. Yeah. I wonder if he does it always the same for that word and then different for other words. I'm wondering now if that's, I was just thinking the exact same thing. Like, does he do it? Like, for example, here in, in, in To Walk, Shim, he has like a little dot in the middle. Is this only for Sherry? Well, no, here he does something else. See that? He actually puts like yeah. plural strokes in there. Mm. So another version. Huh. Yeah, no? kind of fascinating that you can play with this apparently, like so many things. I don't see another one. So let's keep going. Um, line eight. So Sherry, and not any Sherry, but Sherry Nefret. So beautiful, blue, beautiful daughter, beautiful girl. Um, and then what? Um, Nefret. Anything interesting? Yeah, there's something interesting here. Maybe to point out the, um, the ligature he uses here. So he has like a little T. And then that goes into that secondary form of the of the book row. And that's really easy to miss. I think he does it a few more times in the next few lines. That's why I wanted to point it out. Here's this, this ligature going on there. With the, 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 the Y, what is it? Y1 book row? I always get that. I think that's right. Never it. Then here again, this one's interesting too. So here's the T and again, the book row. And now he made it into like this vertical thing here. I mean, if, if you didn't know from context, I'm not sure I wouldn't have recognized this. But if you link it back from here to here, it actually sort of makes sense. Okay. You say Jednef, Kai. Kai, Kai, Pai, Nib, Nib, we know, or Nib, same as always. And then again, the suffix pronoun because it's, it's my Lord. Well, that's weird though, isn't it? 
it's either it's either pi nip, so the, the suffix pronoun should be after the after the article, or it's it's nebi, and in which case it should be should be after, but then without the, the article in front. So that combo is kind of weird now that I think about it. Could it be like an honorific change kind of thing? Yeah. That's what I was thinking too, that it's maybe a set phrase, my lord. You wouldn't put yourself upon, like above the Lord. So you would rather put the Lord above oh. the I. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Because we, you do it a lot of in names of God names and so on. That you put the God in front. You do. You do. Um, that is true. Although somehow I, I can can't pin it down, but at least. Personally, I think it may just be a graphical mistake. I'm, I'm not sure, but this is weird. Then comes the determinative. Determinative. So somehow it feels to me like this should have been before. I mean, if you wanted to avoid the whole thing, you could just write, you could just write, um, uh, nah. I, oopsie. Can't do this with the mouse. It's annoying. Uh, but just put the determinative here, and then write Lord right after, right? Like horizontally. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Why go through the trouble? I just wonder if it's if it's a spelling mistake. I, weird. Not sure. It's interesting. Maybe keep an eye out for it if this happens again. Doesn't really look like a spelling mistake, I think, because if you would have forgotten the the woman bit, would put the would have put the, the the Lord the Neb lower, wouldn't he? So it kind of looks on purpose to me. It does look on purpose. You're right. right. I mean, he, he yeah. clearly wanted to write this. Um, hmm. It could have been like a, like how they sometimes sneak in the Fs over into the next word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. You mean like, <laughs> excuse me, like a slash almost, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Like just squishing it together. Could be too. So you mean they're like, like they should be horizontally offset and they're not space saving have it. Could be too. I don't know. Interesting. I really, for me, it's a question mark right now. What's going on here? I don't think it's a suffix pronoun after after a noun that is is already determined by the article. I can't say that never happens. I just don't know enough. But that seems wrong. So I think it's a graphical thing, like you said, transposition or basically horizontally offset or just spelling mistake, but. I don't think that indicates that it should be pronounced, but honestly, I don't know that. What does the the um, transliteration that I have uh, from the Italian guy um, mm -hmm. does have neb e. Huh. So oh. is, this, is this a thing then? And and I was thinking that that it's possible that it's like a um, just a compressed like old. Egyptian that kind of got frozen like that, you know how it worked with foot, you know, like saying my lord or something. It might be like a title that got frozen with mm -hmm. um, it had a change a possessive thing. at the end. Okay, go ahead. No, I was just just confirming what you said. Basically, that that changes things, right? If let's see what they do here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they think it's pine. Let me switch it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Ramses has it different than the other guy. Yeah. Right, but but so Enzo Kyoko, uh, rest in peace. He he had it. Um, third opinion. What does Gardner have? Does anybody have that? Uh, he has. Well, he doesn't do the transliteration. Oh, oh that's it's just the it's just the hieroglyphic <laughs> transcription. But he does it faithfully the way it's in the hieratic, with the neb over the B one. Right. Well, I have one more idea. Where's the one from another Italian source uh, by Ellie? Um, oh, yeah. 
new Egyptian literature. Let's see what he thinks. Mm, that's the two brothers, we don't want that. Truth and lie, so much cool stuff to read. <laughs> okay, where are we? Can you read Italian? Yes. You're lucky. This is a, there's a lot of stuff on this, on this site. I would love to be able to read these here. It's, it's great. And also they have a lot of late Egyptian stuff. I mean, Ptolemaic, sorry, Ptolemaic stuff, which normally- Ptolemaic, yeah. Hard to find. yeah. Um, where are we? No, that's too far, far down. Um, A10, A8, we were A5, weren't we? Mm. That looks wrong though. Oh, because I'm thinking eight and we're still on page six. Sorry, my, my bad. Um, it was six, five, didn't we say that? Here we go. Six, six, eight, yeah. Well, six, eight, that's where I get the eight from. Um, here, finally. So he also has Pineb, just like Ramses. Okay. There must be other texts that use the words, my Lord. That must appear somewhere else. You would think, right? Cannot yeah. be the only source of that. Right. I'm trying to do a search through the Horace and Seth um, thing, but I'm, I'm not really finding it. It's not working for some reason. Hmm. Uh, we, we could take a look at Ramses, but then it would have to be I mean, finding Pineb shouldn't be an issue. We should find that a lot. Like, Pineb. if it's like spelled like this, I'm thinking the opposite. Um, like, Panebi, basically. Does that exist? Mm. Feels kind of odd. It would still be Pineb, it wouldn't be like this Lord of mine. Oh, yeah, that's the weirdest it, thing. Right? If, if you wanted to say the Lord, you would just write pi, you wouldn't write pi. You're right, pi would be this. Right. I mean, here's one example. Um, Here you go. There, there's one. Oh, so maybe it's a... Um, that didn't work. It's an A1. It's, it's not... Um, it's just a, um, a determinative for the Lord rather than... Right. But then they all also have the divine determinative on it too. Right, right, exactly. So that will be kind of double, right? So I think it's a graphical thing, like we, just said, like we said before, for some reason, he's writing them on top of each other, either to save space or, yeah. Like, hmm. so, so you think it might be a B1 just squished under, a B1 that is supposed to be at the end of the pie? I kind of like that best, honestly. I but, do too. Or by just seeing this now, this might also be a mistake that you wanted to write a person and not just put a little dot in there because he didn't pay attention. Entirely possible too. Yeah, I think entirely possible too. Because it doesn't change it also the other way around sometimes that he writes the, writes the man, but means woman. I mean, the thing is, I was thinking about that too a moment ago. Um, if you're a scribe, I'm not sure if this is true, but in Coptic they use they use um, 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 but Joyce, like my lord, all the time when, when addressing somebody, my lord, this and this, you will know that blah blah blah. So it's uh, I think it's, yeah, as a as a honorific, like uh, yeah, I'm just yeah, like sir in English, right? And I'm wondering if you write that the whole day long. Um, he just accidentally wrote this here and then corrected it, quote unquote, by putting a little little dot on there. I think it's entirely possible. Um, yeah. But that's 
that's out there right now we're <laughs> Yeah, well, we should be my lot. You're right. It wouldn't be my lot if there wouldn't be the lot here. Who knows? Hmm. Interesting, huh? Let's let's see what. Let's go on from there. I'd say. Um, so my lord, and not just any lord, but my great lord. Um, as for me, this is all pretty normal. Um, in the ah, interesting. Anouk is written with the the male one here, with the A one, like it normally. Is I think, but I mean it's it's ISIS speaking. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the bits where where I'm saying like sometimes he uses the male instead of the female and doesn't really. Yeah, the note the way it looks a little bit interesting here. I think yeah, continuity. I the... wasn't watching. <laughs> when he um. Himse um, um, yeah, um, Hime, sorry, Hime, when he, Hime, um, I, uh, wait. no, MD, what am I, is this MD? What's the extra R doing in there? Oh. Is that is that a common spelling with the extra R in there? The extra Aleph? Uh, I mean M I don't I don't remember ever seeing that. Kind of interesting, huh? Um M D Y and then this word here was what was it again? The herdsman, Nechem or something. Name name in, I forgot. I forgot it was. I have it as M U Men U. Oh, sorry, menu. Yeah, of course, from Hertz. What am I saying? Uh, menu. A menu. And how's that written? Well, the only thing we really have is like three strokes. And oh, and this little, this little something. Well, by three strokes and the, the striking man. So is this here a phonogram? Let's find out. I don't know this sign at all. Menu. Uh, let's see. Nope. Menu. Let's. Uh, A33. A33. Okay. Oops. 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four four. Um, let's see. Maybe it's in here. Kind of. Huh. Could it be a later hieroglyph? Could it be a what? Something because we had it before with some hieroglyphs that they didn't exist before. Oh, you mean it's like a like a later kind of thing? Yeah, or like a, like a re hieroglyph that they something that they wrote in hieratic and then later they oh, yeah. made yeah. a hieroglyph. Like, a oh, like that something. Shen thing we had. The Shen yeah, is... yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Possible, huh? Um, well, wouldn't that be a case for for um, nah, what's his name? Yeah, that's Let's that's still being molar though. That's gonna be what? So I missed it. Yeah, that if it if it was like a later thing that comes back from higher attic, it would definitely be in molar though. Yeah. I still didn't get where, where it would be. I'm so deaf, sorry. But let's take a look at menu together. Maybe. That will tell us something. How else it can be spelled? Min, 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 medu, no. Where are you? I mean, this is, this is herds. Min, min. Somehow related to that word, I would think. What is its determinative? Um, wasn't it a cow? 
Uh, yes. It's a, it's a striking man, a cow, and a cow. Yeah, actually, it is um, more like, as I remember, it is herd, uh, herder or something like herder, that. Herder, yeah. Mm -hmm. Herdsman, herder. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think so. How is that normally spelled, though? Many. That's interesting. It's not even in here. I'm going to check it Vegas. Oh, that's interesting. In Vegas, he it's spelled totally differently. Uh-huh. Oh, here it is. Oh, here I got it in Vegas. Uh it's uh it's just I've got a couple instances where I just looked up A33 and um and it has menu with just um, the guy. Yeah, just just uh, do a search for A33, and then it'll go right to it. Menu. Look at that. And it's got it's got the one with the hash strokes in it, even and stuff. Yep. Many to God. Many God's menu. This this would be enough, apparently. Huh. Go figure, many or herdsmen. Yeah. I have the feeling we may just have to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how this time works, I have no idea. Mm. So, so it looks like it might be just a um, ideogram, I guess, with phonetic complements on it. And then determinatives. That's right. right. That's right. And we had the cow before, I think. And that's what it looks like. It looks like a like a sort of like a jur and then a book roll or something underneath. Um, it's just highly, highly standardized, but I'm sorry, highly linearized or how very abstract basically. I think it typically has a shape like this. Which is interesting. But so this puppy here, hmm, okay. How would you write this? Maybe like like this? Possibly, huh? Oh, that's, Just, that's too bad that I can't look for it in molar. Yeah. I mean, we could take a quick look at um, what's his name, Merlot, and just see if it's in there. Um, the paper version. Uh, writing system, I think. So we probably want the nope, too late. This one. People are at the beginning. Oh no, I think you guys froze on me. Oh, yeah. what? Uh, my connection was unstable. You guys froze for a second. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so here are all our different men and their occupation. Their occupations. I didn't see it. Nope, I give up. <laughs> Not readily available. Is that a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brains. The guy above him is not looking too good either. <laughs> That's 28 days later, yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. <laughs> Back to more serious things. So she was the husband of a herdsman or a, um, yeah, 
I guess, a cowherd, or let's say herdsman, that sounds a little bit more official. And she gives birth to, oh, Misa, did we have that before? I don't think we had that before. Um, but that's very typical, what he's doing there. Um, uh, just um, three, three strokes like that. That's how you normally write Miss, I think. Um, the horn, he's just phoning in. It's just doing a, a, a vertical. I'm sorry, not vertical, but you know what I mean, like a long falling, falling stroke. Um, wa is normal, sa is normal. Uh, this one's interesting. I'm not sure if we had that before. I love the hieratic form of that because it's so easy to write. It's basically like an olive bird with a stroke in the middle. That's it. Um, much easier than the than the um, the hieratic and the hieroglyphic form. Again, not sure why we have this X out. I mean, isn't that just a uh, the line in the middle on that is his just his wings sticking out, right? For the chatty bird. Yes. I think it's just the wings. You're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's actually Aleph and and then this, like that. Probably. Um, so then her husband dies. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. Who wants to? And as far as the, the smudges at the end of mail there, uh, Gardner just has, um, he has a little smudge. What does Ramsey's have? Let's look it up. It's like, it's like a little, like two ticks or something. Yeah, smudge. Smudge. F, F 110 or 100, I think. Is that it? Yeah. All right. So, so far she's, she's been married and she's given birth to a son, a male son. Um, who wants the next? And is, is this the one where um, Isis in disguise is giving, telling a story to Seth? Oh to yeah, try and trick him into a almost yeah. Recap. So um, she's made it across the island uh, in the shape of a beautiful girl. Um, is making her way towards the Iniat, 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 and uh, Seth spies her. Um, is of course smitten and makes um, makes a beeline towards her, and uh, says, "Hey, I'm here." What does he say? Um, we just got there. I'm here, with you. I'm, here with, with you. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Good looking. Well, as Joey would say, hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Um, <laughs> and then basically she says, uh, well, she says, uh, my lord, consider uh, Kai, or oh, consider my lord, my great lord. I am the wife um, of a herdsman. I give birth to a, a male son, and here we go. Um, whatever happens afterwards. Starting. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I can do it. All right, go for it. Uh, so it's so starting the starting at the EU, right? The um. Mm -hmm. Before that is just the determinatives. Okay. Right. <clears throat> uh, you, Pai, uh, Ha, Hai, uh, Moot. And so um, that, and my husband died. Um, and do you know what? Is there missing her in there or my husband? Or is that um, a stative? The, is the verb a stative? Do you know the, the do yeah, you know, know what? Yeah. So okay, I'll just look go. it up because at the same question, Ramses thinks it's it's an um, it's a, it's a missing her. Okay. Um and then uh you pa uh, Ajid, uh, Kepper Msa, Na, uh, E out, Na, E out, uh, N, Pai, F, T, F, it, 
eat. Um, and and the young person uh, 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 happened, created behind. Um, uh, oh, is that like a set word for started after? Maybe. And then it's um, like um, in charge of. Mm. We had it in a oh. previous sentence. I remember. Oh yeah, like um, like standing behind somebody or or the person behind this. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's what M sa is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then Kepper is to start, right? Or okay. Anyways, um, uh, na, uh, ut. So the um, the kettles, the um, of my, of his father. So the boy started taking care of, started being in charge of the cattle of my father. Mm -hmm. His father, right. I think Reper, uh, or later Schoppe in Coptic, at this point in time, you can just take us to be. Be or become. To be. I, okay. I think that's so, it's on its so way then, to come to be, uh, semantically, I think. So then he became in charge of, came. Which makes in, sense, right? given that the dad died. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. Sounds perfect. Yeah, otherwise- Should I go on? If you like, sure, why not? Okay. Um, her ear, uh, is that like an introductory thing or a conjunction? Um, I think before, her is like kind right? of before. Yes, I'm when, sure. It's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like when or, or something of that nature. Okay. Um, you remt or uh, way remt. So uh, then a person or a man, um, jur jur. Whoops. Can you guys hear me? It says my internet. Uh, um, yeah, I can see you. Okay. Uh, I think it's strange. Uh, stranger. Stranger. Jer, jer, jer is stranger. Okay, so that's modifying the rems, I guess, right? Yep. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, came, arrived. Um, e U F, then he, uh, M C, Hems, sat um, in uh, Pai. Mm -hmm. uh, Pai. Yeah, I, that's something. Is, mm -hmm. is that okay? So what is the word? It's got the um, high is usually like come down, but then it's got a room determinative on it. Right. So I think, I think it's, it's like stable, stable or barn or something. Yeah. Okay. So this may okay. be related to uche cow, but I'm not sure if that's the case. Or if it's, it's I mean, it starts. Where does it start? Um, I wonder. I, this should be the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. I think that's the whole word. Yeah, I found the whole thing as stable or by a. Oh, oh it's Iha. I, or Iha. I think it's Ihayat or something. And when you think about how, how cow is pronounced at that point in time, later, what does it become? Uche or a thing? I think something like that. Uche or Ihe. It may okay. be related, but I could be wrong on that. Gotcha. It would make some sense because YT normally is some kind of, kind of uh, abstract, well, not abstractum, but some kind of nominal formation from something, something simpler. So you would think that's some kind of derivation. 
All right. Okay. So then we got um, her uh, F, um, but he or then he um, uh, me nahi. So is that uh, like like this like? Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> um her. Oh, that's just the um the grammar grammar thing. Um oh no, to to the youth. That, that, I just don't the know. young guy again. What do we make out of the herf? Does anybody have something on this one? Oh, maybe it's just talking. Maybe it's her jed and uh, so then uh, her is the um, preposition that is framing the um, pseudo-verbal uh, construction. And then um, jed n is the verb. And then, or jed is the verb to say. And then n is to the, um, to her, um, Shri and then Shri, no, to my son. Right. Is that right? I think okay. that's right. But let's pause here for a moment um, and see. So this part is clear, right? Um, said, said to my son, but I still, not, I still don't understand what we make out of this one here. Um, looks like a pseudo verbal, but um, is that a form? Her plus suffix pronoun? Yes, that's what, that's what I was guessing. I was guessing that um, her is just a conjunction like EU that has a different connotation than EU. And then F, then he, thusly, her, Jed. So then he said, is that, okay, I'll let, why don't you go? Yeah, anybody have something on that? On the her? No, I just same same thought. No, her in itself means something like but and so on, doesn't it? No? Right. As a or well, has a has a quite a lot of meaning, but I just also assumed it works similar. Okay. Okay, so this is the stranger yeah. speaking. And so it it's something that um is creating conflict. Um, so it's like, then the stranger came and not, instead of saying EU, it has a her there because EU follows naturally while her maybe like not following naturally as much. That makes a lot of sense. Is that how they normally use her? Yeah. Let's, let's have a look. It sort of rings a bell that there was something about her. Um, let's see. Uh, we can get it in like you um, where have i seen this before? oh yeah that one is it in here no it's not in here in particles i think particles okay let's have a look Her. ah and but so, yeah, okay. Ah. Does it have a, an example sentence? Nah, unfortunately not. Um, does it have a, does, does he have like a, um, does he have a glossary at the end? Because I wonder, is this the herd that means but? Or is it a herd that means I mean to say, like Rams is Egyptian a grammar index, page two forty nine. Two forty nine. Oh, I think I'm I'm there. Is that it? Yeah, two forty eight. Okay, two forty nine. There's also something here called he. Uh, yeah, it has a uh, it has her in ten one, uh, thirty three point two. Point one point one, thirty four point one and thirty eight. Is her F Sajam? 
Right. Well, let's take a look at all of those, if you guys are okay with that. I'll start at 10.1, um, wherever that is, 10.1. I love electronic versions. Okay, all right, that's just a particle. Oh. Yeah. 17.6, let's see what that is. Um, 17.6, the Hördesegemer form, um, negative aorist, the Hördesegemer, Hördesegemer, ancestor of Coptic Schafsotem, interesting. Uh, but they would need a verb form like here, her inf. So there, there should be something between the her and the, the suffix pronoun, not our case right now. Let's move on. 33, 33, 33, 33, 33.2.11. Her and ear. We just had that a moment ago. Um, I said, I think I said when, or but he he, he translate or never translates it as as but. Okay, all right. Not our case though. Thirty four point one. Didn't see that. That's a her, 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 not a her. 36.1? Hmm. Nothing obvious. Okay, one more, 43.3. Appendix one. Wow, okay. There's a lot of good stuff in this book. Should really work through that. I, I was out for a second. Did you already go to 33.2.1? Yes, we did. Uh, that, okay. was the, um, that was the negative aorist, I think. <sighs> None of this helps. Well. Yeah. There was one that said her F, which is what we have, but I can't remember which one that was. Okay, let's go back. Her F. Um, sorry about that, maybe I didn't write that down. You mean in the index at the back? Yeah. Her F. The Her F Sejem. Oh, wasn't that? Oh, 17.6, okay. 17.6. Point six. I missed that one, I think. Oh no, that's the, is that the older form? Oh, there. Sajam had F, had F Sajam. Oh, 17.6, right. Mm. Mm. Let's see, how does this work? Um, yeah. Hmm. Now, I wonder if they switch to this different verb form with all the hers because it's telling a story of somebody telling a story. You mean like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. You mean, you mean because it's or, like or if, parentheses there, right? Um, 
yeah or or if it's just like yeah isn't there a verb that just means to say though heard um yeah. could have sworn there was such a thing before we go too far off um Yeah, the next line has several hers in it. Should we take a look at that? Um, give me one quick moment. Just want to see if I, I can find that. I sort of have at the back of my mind that it could just mean say. Um, okay, here we go. Her preposition. Auxiliary verb, so says. Oh. So I wonder so if it's so that. Mm. So so says he thusly mm -hmm. said to my son. Something like that. I mean, if that's correct, that could be a little research task, what how that thing is actually used. But I've somehow at the back of my mind it could be that. Um, and then everything suddenly becomes quite simple, right? So he says like this, but then what's the extra herd doing in here? I think this one needs a bit, I, bit more work. I, for some reason, Could, I, I think, I still think that her is replacing EU as a conjunction, uh, connecting the phrases mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. in a different style than EU or a different connotation. But that's just my guess um, in this line here. And it could be, in which case we, we should see if that's in, is that in more places, right? Like, can we find more yeah. examples of this? I think that, yeah, you're right, Kevin. The next line has more examples of it. Well, the Simpson has translated this as he said thus speaking to my son, which is in keeping with Aurelio, your interpretation of thus, or er, so said. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it could be like, cause um, with the EU F her sedum, right? It could be similar to that um, with just this weird thus thrown in there, right? Right. I mean, if that was an EU and there was no um, uh, M, me, na, na, -i, um, it, it could be this, just the same first perfect or, you know, old pseudo verbal, right? It could does be. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. Um, here's the exact same thing again. Like you said, there's another example. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's really the same thing. Cheref, cheres, sedjem, sed, not sed, sedjnet, nef, Jesus. So oh, but it's also, it's also used in a word that, um, uh, that has saying it. You know what I think this might be? Um, they've got that thing in Coptic uh, that they use a lot where it's like, he says to him, and then they have another J or Jew yes. Yes. to quote it. So I bet that's what it is. I bet you're right with the um, that being a verb, auxiliary verb to say. Do, do you know the structure that I'm thinking of? Absolutely. Uh, like, um, like, um, okay. it's, yeah, no, I can't think of an example, but yeah, it's always J basically. There's something, something, emos, it, J, namely, and then comes the sentence. Um, um, yeah, pejaf, I can find it, I bet. Pejaf nas, enaf emos, J, like for example, he said uh, to him yeah. this, namely, and then the namely is the J is what you're thinking about, right? That's true. That that's yep. like the second sentence in Coptic. Um, I really don't know. I'm I'm now on the fence because I see this here. I see that there, and it makes me think: Does it mean to say, or is it just like, is this like another tense or grammatical form? I really don't know. Jeez. What? Well, yep. I'm a I'm fifty fifty. I could go either way. That looks like something good to look at. Something we should look at? Yeah, something we should figure out or, you know, do a little research on. Because it, it does 
it does seem to match that Coptic form, but then initially it just seems that it's just a different um, conjunction or participle like you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, you know what? Let's take that one as a follow up. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure something out over the week. Cool, though. Cool stuff. Yeah, should we leave it there for today? It, it is. Look, it is at the beginning of the sentence, too. At the beginning of 610. <laughs> There's um her as a right before yeah oh that's a uh, her ear which might be a this one here compound uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning of six ten six ten oh I think that's just a compound yeah a compound yeah this is just like a like a what is it like a conjunction um, this one. Is different, um, but this right. one, this one, and maybe also this one here. There's something else going on. Let's pick that up next oh, week. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys. Good to see you. Thanks all. Thank you. Have a great week. See ya.